Howdy there, I'm that indie games guy, and if you're here, then you're exactly like me. You love indie games and want to know what games will be coming out in the future. Or if you're watching this from the future, games that have already been released. This video, I'll explore a whole list of indie games that are set to be released shortly. These could be games you've already wishlisted, or unknown gems. Let me know in the comments below if you like the look of any of these games, and let the video commence. To start off this list, we have Humanity wanting to head out to the stars and see what other planets that we can call our own, as Earth is no longer enough. It looks like we have a planet in mind, but the local population doesn't seem to want to share its planet with another species. This is from Glory to Goo, a real-time strategy base building game where you'll need to try and get a stronghold down on the planet to support the colonists who have already made for this world and try to assist the ships above getting more people on land. I'm a huge fan of how this game looks. It's given me the retro RTSs that I've been looking for for a while. You'll need to build up your defense as horde after horde of goo attack you. These fully remind me of the flood from Halo and they were a nasty bunch. This game will definitely go from zero to 100 real fast. As your ship gets closer to the surface, more and more goo will flood, eh? towards you as your base will slowly become a red blob on the map. From Glory to Goo is going to be a fantastic RTS to play this year. I have really high hopes for this early access title as we'll be getting regular updates as it pushes towards its full release. Now it's time to go and show that Goo what Glory really looks like. Normally, when I think of a twin stick shooter, I think about small maps or these crazy bullet hells that you see all the time now. I never normally think about an open world exploration game. Well, being released we have Mini Shoots Adventure, a twin stick metrovania that has taken inspiration from the original Zelda games and decided to take us on a quest inside our little own ship as we tackle overwhelming dungeon bosses who are just trying to keep our friends hostage. You'll need to upgrade your ship by leveling up on your journey, finding new equipment that might be hidden away, and rescuing your friends, who might be able to help you out in their own little way. The combat will be a whole screen bullet hell experience. You'll need to dodge while also getting into the best spot to shoot back. I'm talking cuphead on that plane level, if you know you know, I still get nightmares about how hard I found that. Mini Shoots Adventure is a modern take on a classic adventure. You'll be travelling around in your ship, solving puzzles and defeating the big bads as you try to become the hero that everyone needs in this time of panic. Normally when you think of a mobile game or a port of a mobile game, it doesn't really get a lot of people excited. But this next game should definitely get you hyped for a beautiful side-scrolling action RPG. This is Astra, Knights of Vida, and it's got me really excited to give this one a whirl on computer, and if I really enjoy it, I'll even play it on my phone. This gothic RPG will have you playing as a Knight of Verda, tasked with trying to take down the Mad King who has turned the lands into ruin. This 2D adventure is really giving me Diablo vibes, which has you running into hordes of creepy crawlies all trying to stop you as you just pull off insane moves one after another. Astra Knights of Verda will be a free to play game. No doubt it will have some type of monetization feature with them all offering different heroes or weapons, but that'll be down to you if you want to support the game more to get certain heroes. Normally if I enjoy a free to play game, I'll get some of the coins if I plan on playing the game for a while. Tower defense games or base defense games are a lot of fun. It's all strategy where you place your towers and one wrong move could be the difference between the winner and the game over screen. This is Kitchen Crisis, a casual roguelike tower defense where you'll play as a chef, one who has been abducted by aliens and needs to create culinary masterpieces to keep the aliens at bay for you to keep cooking for another day. This is like no roguelike I've seen before. You'll need to arrange your kitchen in a way that has the aliens running around trying to get you, whilst you and your crew cook delicious food that will stop them getting anywhere close to you. 
You'll need to upgrade your equipment so your cooks are working at maximum efficiency. Don't do something fast enough and you might find yourself a chef or two down. I mean, where did they go? Kitchen Crisis is a fantastic blend of tower defense, cute pixel graphics, and of course, cooking. I can see myself playing this for hours as I try to perfect the formula at keeping them aliens away for long enough so I can make them the best goddamn pizza they've ever had. I've covered this game in more detail recently within my farming games being released this year, and this one doesn't look like it'll drop the ball on a cosy front either. This is Pathless Woods, an open world survival sandbox that is inspired by ancient Chinese heritage as you build your dream home, gather and collect different materials, and make sure to defend this stunning land from anyone that is going to attack you. Pathless Woods will be releasing into early access, with the game releasing with building, farming, and a lot of survival aspects, some of the main quest is already going to be added as well, but you'll no doubt hit a wall if you're looking to plough through this as fast as possible. If you're looking for a cosy farming game where you'll be able to offer feedback and watch the game grow, then this will just be the game for you. I'm pretty certain if I say the genre walking simulator to a lot of you, it's not going to be the type of game that you're looking for. But just remember, some of the best story rich adventures just had you walking around. The game that always comes to my mind is Firewatch. This game here is Purpose 1951, a short visual adventure that will have you stepping into the shoes of a retired doctor whose life has fallen apart. This game will not take you long, but it could be the game that impacts you the most in recent years. It'll probably take around an hour to explore and see what happened to our protagonist and figure out why their life turned out this way. Purpose 1951 may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I often find these types of walking simulators are where games make me think about my own life the most. When you have nothing but someone else's life in front of you, it can make you reflect on your own. It can allow you to be alone with your thoughts for a little while. If you've never played a game like this, maybe this is the one that you give a go. This game has been on my radar since I mentioned it during the Steam Next Fest, and it's got the makings of being a fantastic little gem. This is Planet Tiles, a city builder where the world is your canvas, as you start with a small tiled based planet and slowly turn it into a world of wonder. This is a board game-esque builder, where you'll place little tiles to match other previously placed ones to combine and make new biomes earn bonuses and push towards completing missions to ensure your planet pushes onto the next stage. But be careful, sometimes nature doesn't like it when you play god. It'll send down meteorites, erupt volcanoes and much more as you'll need to figure out the best way to save your planet from destruction. Planet Tiles will be a fantastic strategy game with you really needing to think ahead and plan for the worst as you try to be a lush paradise for whatever and whoever calls this place home. Rhythm games are fantastic. You try to click the right button or move in time with the beat, it adds another layer to normally already difficult games. So with this game here, Beat Slayer, not to be confused with Beat Saber, this is a rhythm based roguelike hack and slash, as you'll be slashing to the beat of your drum to clear through levels and try not to lose yourself to the dance. These games take a serious amount of skill to master. I remember struggling so hard at Crypt of the Necro Dancer as I thought I'd just button mash everything to get through the hordes as quickly as I can, but here you'll need to have a calm and collected head as you try to keep on track of the beat and know the best moves to pull off to get through while not dropping the beat at all. You do drop it, and you'll be in for a world of pain. Beat Slayer will have you learning all of the tracks and getting you to try and keep up after wave after wave of robots try to get you. You just need to make sure that you grab your weapon and head out swinging. You hear that beat, you dance to the beat, and you make sure you stay on the beat. 
The final game on our list today is a Metrovania I have been super excited about for a while now. This beautifully hand-drawn world will be so awesome to explore. So roll on April 5th. This is Biomorph, an action Metrovania that will give you a rather unique ability that will completely change up how you play these games. You can control the creatures that you kill. Pretty cool, right? The game is alive and slowly learning how you play the game. As you backtrack through areas that you couldn't reach before, they'll evolve by learning your moveset and they try to adapt, meaning that there is no easy location or safe havens in this dark place. Make sure to always be on your toes. Biomorph is the Metrovania I have been searching for for a while. I'm a huge fan of the feature that allows you to take over defeated enemies to use their skills. I love the idea of the AI learning how you play so it can adapt to overcome you. This is shaping up to be one of my Game of the Year contenders, so fingers crossed it delivers. And that is sadly the end of our list of games being released this week. Let me know what you'll be playing this week down below and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you all next time, bye bye!